Cats usually live out in the wild, but there is another place you can find them. And joining us to show you some more of his reptiles is Eric Johnson from E&M Reptiles House, along with the red-tailed boa. Good morning, Eric. Yeah, hey guys Hi. again. Yeah. This is Cecil. I named him after my grandpa. Really? So he was thrilled about that. The grandpa yeah. who did this? Or did grandpa? No, oh, okay. godparents did the oh, show. Oh, godparents yeah. did the show. That's grandpa, right. Grandpa, he wasn't a snake lover, but <laughs> oh, this, the snake seemed to fit him. So. Oh, well, we'll leave that one alone. That's, a, that's yeah. another session. All right, this is a boa. Yeah, so you what, guys can pet him. What yeah, is sure. the deal with boas? What, the, uh, how do they get their meals um this is a, a red-tailed boa constrictor from south america mm -hmm. and they are constrictors just like the name implies yeah uh so what they do is they actually will sit by a game trail uh wait for some food to walk by mm -hmm. go ahead and bite that food use all this muscle to wrap around yeah. and squeeze that animal yeah. um, and then they'll swallow it whole now let me ask you a question it's got a very small mouth obviously yeah. you think maybe it might be able to take in a worm right but in reality <laughs> how how wide will that mouth open in the jaw and how big of an animal will it ingest? Um, this guy could eat something as big as a guinea pig. Oh. Uh, basically, we open our mouths like this. Yeah. They have an extra hinge. They open their mouths like this. Ah. So it would be like you or I being able to swallow an entire watermelon. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Before you try to do that, though, have a friend standing by. Please do. Okay. Yeah. And have a bathroom nearby. <laughs> now, how many animals do you have? We have over 80 animals in our family. Um, and they all go out and do the shows. Uh, they're all hands-on with the kids. Yeah. Um, and the adults and uh, really you know I love what I do and it's awesome to be able to do it for a living so wow yeah now, will this get any bigger or is this pretty much at max uh, this guy's only four years old oh. they live around 30 years and yeah. get to be about 20 foot long oh how wonderful so. <laughs> and you don't ever get scared uh, you know I do have a healthy fear of all my animals um, if you lose your fear that's when people get hurt including yourself mm. or somebody else so having a healthy respect and fear is a good thing okay. um, Adrian from the Chaffee Zoo said some awesome things these guys don't make good pets most most of them don't. Um, really important to do research before you get an animal as a pet, any animal, yeah. um, especially reptiles. Uh, two thirds of my 80 animals are rescued, like I said, from people who don't do that kind of yeah. research. But they're not endangered, the animals that you have? Uh, no, none of the animals that I have to, uh, are endangered. Okay. Um, you'd have to have a lot of special licensing yeah. and permits for that kind okay. of stuff. Now, now this snake this here, so how, how, would it, how could it hurt you? Um, you or me, it couldn't do a lot of damage gotcha. to. A chihuahua, maybe. <laughs> oh, Liz, keep your dog <laughs> away. No wonder Liz doesn't like reptiles. This just feels so good. Yeah, it's not slimy at all. No. Their skin it's is cool. made from the same stuff your fingernail and your hairs are made out of. It's just really? called keratin. It's it. So wow. not, not slimy at all. Oh. That's yeah. a big uh, misconception. Look at, look at he's just yeah, looking he's, at you. I'm yeah. a, we're big warm trees to these guys. He's getting a lot of heat and warmth from us yeah. there's no aggression happening here at all none um, and how yeah. would we know if there was um, that would be my job ah. to tell okay. yeah. because you said ah. we could touch this and yeah. except for the head and the head is getting close yeah, they don't <laughs> <laughs> And I, like I trust and get, respect you, Yeah, Eric. that's right. That's right. Well, you can oh, well, stretch them out. Okay. Yeah. Hey, let's do our stretch. Yeah. Thank Big you. Stretch. Oh, this Wonderful. is just beautiful. Eric, thank you. Thank you, More guys. More fabulous animals coming your way from this reptile family, the E&M reptile family. All morning long. Thank Don't you. go away. Thank you, guys. His head is going to yeah. we'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> Minutes. We really need it on this uh, Monday, don't we? I tell you what, this Monday, it's like a double yeah. stretch. Let's go for uh, the eighth inning stretch. Yeah, go, Liz. Oh, man, I need to stretch. You know what? I just got to stretch on the chair here. Oh, my God. Oh. What happened? Look at the snake. Where? Right there. Oh. oh, everybody driving, don't stretch. Keep your hands on the wheel. Oh, man, this feels good. Oh, I just, oh, you know how you got to turn your your shoulders and just get the blood going. Oh, oh, I feel better, Kim? Yes. Good, now, where are you? You disappeared. She blended into the carpet here. Oh, there you are. I had to do a little down. Oh, dog. man. You know, I just, I, yeah. Yeah, I just needed to do this, one of those, you know? Yeah. Oh, it feels better. OK, oh, all thank right. you. There we go. Oh.
from E&M's Reptile House. And uh, we have the pleasure of sharing the set right now with an albino Burmese python named yeah. Lightning. Lightning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. First of all, the name? Yeah. Why? Lightning? Well, uh, you know, she kind of looks like a lightning bolt sure. for me, so we thought Lightning would be a great, appropriate name for her. And, and, and this, it, while we say she's actually very long, uh, this is nothing? She's a this baby? This is nothing, yeah. <laughs> she's only about seven years old right now. Uh -huh. She'll live to be about 30 and get to be about 30 feet long. About a foot a year? Yeah, roughly about a foot a year. Depends on their habitat, though, and the stress. Uh, but yeah, 30 feet long. There's rumor of 40 footers out there in the wild. Mm. Uh, long as a school bus, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, kids, how about that? And she doesn't mind us touching her? No, she, she doesn't mind at all. Uh, these cold, guys, cold. yeah, reptiles, she is a little cool. We'd like her cool rather than too warm. She'd be a lot more active if she was really warm. Um, these guys don't have all the nerve receptors we do, mm -hmm. but she does feel our pressure here, yeah. so not uh, too bad. You, you mentioned stress. What, 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 we just want to make sure we don't do anything to stress. Uh, or stress route. What would cause her to stress? Uh, you know, stress in the environment would be predators, animals yeah. trying to eat her, um, uh, bad weather climate like uh, well, the 105 we're getting into here next week. That bother. Um, that would bother her. So yeah. at home, she has a climate-controlled barn that she lives in, and yeah. so that keeps them cool through those hot periods that we have. And, and how does the python nourish oneself? Yeah, um, we, she has a nice big tub. She likes to sit in and soak and drink sometimes and uh, she eats very large jumbo rats yeah um, this time of year about once a week during the winter she'll slow that down to once every two to three weeks and that's enough to that's maintain enough. but plus they don't do much pretty pretty lethargic I would very say. lethargic yeah, yeah. this is a, about the most action you get out of her unless there's a big rat here on the stage which I don't think there is today we've been all right so far no no we have a good crew <laughs> really. yeah <laughs> you uh, you how did do you house uh, a reptile this large um, well like I said we have a temperature controlled barn that we house all the animals in yeah. and within the barn they each have their own enclosure okay. um, it's not a cage it's an enclosure we put furniture in there like logs and branches and hiding places. They've got water and uh, they actually live really well. Without them, I couldn't do what I do. So, <laughs> I, every animal that has been on the air today, including the gecko from the zoo, yeah. I want. I, I, I'm fascinated by the color and the um, texture. No, not the texture. The well, yeah, the texture, but the the pattern. Yeah. I mean, I, it's like I want my wall to look like this. <laughs> yeah, and in parts of the world, they make boots and belts out of things yeah, no, like no, no, these no. guys. I, I don't want to do that. I don't we, wanna, yeah, we like their skin on them, but yeah, yeah, nature provides the best colors and patterns out there. Yeah. We can't even gorgeous. come close to duplicating. No, and it's actually really hard to duplicate even on this TV set. This animal is a brighter yellow than you can see right here and it's look at it's thick it's it's thicker than my arm oh yeah, yeah. it's like your arm because yeah, you're well, a big boy well, like, you know what you're speaking of the color this one i know the other uh, the uh, what was it, the skink yes it had the corn feel to it right yeah, yeah. now this Color looks more like corn on the cob. Right. Uh, this is so but does not feel like corn. No, it doesn't. Very and I'm sure smooth. it does not taste like corn on a cob. <laughs> I wouldn't know wow. that either. This is wonderful. <laughs> Eric, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you Just guys. Just keeps opening up boxes yeah. and we see another animal. More info on ENM Reptile Family. Go to our website, kmph.com. Just click on Great Day. That's right. Thank you guys. We'll be right back. Yes, we will. <laughs> You. I really want to do what you want me to do.